Shenzhen Universiade Center Swimming Natatorium. The whole venue, in fact, has seen NBA China games held here. City of Shenzhen, of course, has held WTA and ATP tennis events, basketball, World Cup, and other world class sporting events as well. So next up it is the men's 100 meters fly. Here's Oleg Kostin of Russia. LA Kostin! the medal in the 50 meters fly event at last year's World Championships, beat his own Russian national record. 22.70 in the process of winning that silver. Michael Andrew, busy as per usual. Michael Andrew! Into the fantastic world-class swimmer is this man. He goes in lane one. Fourth overall in this year's FIFA World Cup event. Matthew Temple of Australia. Gold in the four by 100 medley mixed event last year's World Championships. The youngest of our four starters here by some distance, 17 years of age, silver medal at the 2019 World Championships in this very event, but where he really made a name for himself. Six golds at the 2018 Youth Championships. Didn't pick up a victory yesterday, Andrew. Second in the 200 meters individual medley event. Third in the 50 meters freestyle. What can he bring here in the men's 100 meters butterfly? He was in lane one for the occasion, Michael Andrew. Great effort it was by him at World Cup level this year. Dreminikov won it last year in Guangzhou. Chad Leclo took over the baton, metaphorically speaking, that is, at Budapest. Andrew won in Indianapolis, his home leg. Minion here started brilliantly, Andrew. Started brilliantly also in lane one. But now this is where things are about to get interesting. We can see here that Temple has went in a yellow cap, not to be discounted here, but Andre Minikov, 17 years of age. What an excellent future this man will have ahead of him. He is leading the way here by a half a length ahead of Temple. He's closing in on another victory here. It will be close. Temple just needs a few meters more minikov held on in the end went all in he went very very quickly from the starting blocks and look at that a muscular effort indeed it was there from andre minikov of russia 51 73. well let's give some credit to matthew temple as well 27.68 on the back 50 there for the Aussie, 27.88 for Minikov, he just needed a few more meters there, Temple. Really I'm looking forward to seeing what he can produce for so many years from now, Minikov. Nothing seems to phase him. Be absolutely delighted with that as well. Michael Andrew perhaps disappointing there to finish fourth. He's in second position at the turn, but perhaps he just got the better of the tall American in the end. 53-55 there for Andrew. Good distance behind the win.